Now for this last part, we're given what looks fairly complicated, and that is the probability of mu minus k sigma is less than x, is less than mu plus k sigma, and all this equals 0.5, and we're asked to find out the value of k to two decimal places. Now, we know that the mean mu is three. Let's just put that in. We've got three is that central value there. That's mu. So what is mu plus k sigma? What is mu minus k sigma? Well, we've got a hint here when it says that this probability is 0.5. Because by the symmetry of this graph, we know that the area to the left of q1 has to be 0.25. Let's just put that in there, that that is 0.25 when it comes to the area. We also know that this is the upper quartile Q3 and the area to the right of this is also 0.25. So knowing that the whole area comes to 1, then the area in this band in here must be the remaining 0.5. Let's just mark that in, that that is 0.5. And that's what we've got here. We've got the probability of x being in between this interval has got to equal 0.5. And you can see that it has to be this interval that we're talking about because we've got mu, the central value, and we're going mu minus k sigma below it, which has to be q1, and mu plus k sigma above it, which has to be q3, by the reasoning that this area and the symmetry of the graph is 0.5. So there's two ways that we can find out what k is. We can say that this value is q1, and mu plus k sigma, this value, is q3, the 3.7. So either way, just equate these two values to our quartiles, and then solve it for k. So I'll do both methods for you. So we can say that if we take this lower value, we've got mu minus k sigma must equal the 2.3, the lower quartile. Or you could argue that mu plus k sigma okay, must equal the upper quartile, 3.7. So you choose one of these two equations and just solve for k. So either way, if you were trying to work out k from this one, what I would want to do is take away 2.3 from both sides. So we would have mu minus the 2.3 would equal k sigma. And I would then want to divide both sides by sigma to get that k. k would equal mu minus 2.3 divided by sigma. If we're working with this one, we would get that k, or let's, let's just uh, subtract the mu from both sides, okay? We'd therefore have k sigma equals 3.7 minus mu, and then divide both sides by sigma, so you've got k equals 3.7 minus mu over sigma. Now we have mu, mu is 3. And we have sigma, the standard deviation. Remember, we worked out sigma in an earlier part of the question, part D, to be the root of 0 0.8. And the root of 0 0.8 was 0 0.8944 and so on. Okay? So if you substitute these values into either one of these equations, then I'll leave it up to you just to do that. You'll find that k turns out to be 0.7826 and so on. And if you round that up to, say, two decimal places, k will equal 0.78 to two decimal places, 2dp. All right?